What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and welcome to your quant market update. Um, we'll talk about the fundamentals in this video in the entire crypto market, but we'll also talk about quant specifically, QNT, um, and, and what you can expect uh, today and in the upcoming days for it. Uh, I, I know a lot of you uh, on, on like in the community hold and trade quant, and, uh, and apart from that, quant has an amazing community in, in general. So. Wanted to take a t take a quick look at it, especially right now when we are experiencing some nice bullish momentum in in the entire market. Markets are recovering a little bit, um, but more so they're stabilizing. It's a way better word to use, I think. Um, and uh, and and Quant is doing that too. Uh, you can see that we're heading up towards this resistance level at one hundred and twelve dollars. Um, whether we can break that or not, we'll talk about a little bit later. But first, Quant obviously has dropped down significantly, was already in a downtrend um, after a very impressive rally. I mean, Quant still over the last uh, uh, two and a half months has been one of the best performers and we're still up from that uh, bottom, still up about uh, 27%. Not a lot of cryptos can say that, but I mean, we have to be honest, after the old uh, FTX crash, we have dropped, by, dropped down by, by, by a total of uh, 39%, which compared to other cryptos isn't, um, isn't that much. It, it, it's a lot, but it's not more than other cryptos. So we are recovering a little bit now. Um, how far we can recover depends a lot on what's about to happen next. Um, basically what we have above us is a resistance level at 112. And then just above that, you also have a resistance level around uh, 116 and 120, uh, which is pretty confusing. Uh, and, I, and I understand that 100% because you kind of have, have these two levels um, kind of functioning as, as one resistance. So, so, so to me, basically two things can happen. Um, to me, we, we will either break above 112. If that happens, we'll probably find resistance at 120, but we've broken above that. Um, so then we'll take a break retest and kind of consolidate and I do think that then uh, together with more stability and, uh, and, and recovering in the market, we can get, up, get back up to this uh, 125, 130 level. So either that will happen, uh, which the main thing is, and, and altogether the main thing you should uh, uh, understand from the analysis, that the most important level is $112. Uh, it's about breaking above that or not, and with breaking above it, I really mean closing above it, all right? So at least on the, on the one hour time frame, really having the candle close above that. Because frankly, if we don't manage, and, and, and I, I gotta say, this at this point of time, looks like the most likely scenario. Um, now, if we don't manage to cl close above one, 112, therefore, what I also think is the most likely scenario, if, um, excuse me, um, if, and, and that you should, always know that uh, also with the other scenario if we don't get any more bearish fundamentals because if, if we get more bearish fund fundamentals now we are going to drop uh, so if that doesn't happen uh, and we don't break above 112 what's going to happen is that we'll just probably drop down to like 100 or 104 uh, and do it a little bit later so in my opinion it, it really uh, i have seen some more recovering in the market and i think quant is strong enough as a, as a token but also as a community I think it's it's strong enough to actually do something like this but but whether we do it like today and tomorrow or or just uh, s somewhere later this week uh, depends a lot on that 112 dollar level now so that's my full analysis and update on quant uh, this afternoon if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments but for now take care have a great day and bye